Welcome to Highline Excel class number 38. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel and click on my college website link and you can download the workbook week 7, business 214. If you're enrolled in the class, just go to our week 7 website. Hey, we're talking about array formulas and there's a class of array formulas that are called array functions. Now we're going to look at two of them. There's a number of array functions. We're going to look at the transpose function, which turns or flips a range 90 degrees. We have this little table here, and we want it flipped. One column, two column, four rows. So it's a four by two. When you flip it, it four by two becomes two by four. So this item will be here, this price will be here, and then all of the record, the uh, elements for the fields will be listed horizontally. Now array functions must be entered using control shift enter and all the cells must be highlighted before you create the formula. Both of our examples that will be true. So here it is. We have this table. You actually have to count in advance. There's one, two columns, so there's two rows, and one, two, three, four rows, so four columns. You have to highlight at exact range in advance and then with all of the cells highlighted you type your uh, function equals transpose and it says hey give me the array you just highlight it close parentheses and here it is it's being entered in the active cell but when we control shift enter it will ignore cell references B5 to C8 will be put into every cell you ready control shift enter now, and there it did it. It, um, it has item and price, and then under item it has the actual parts, just as it does here. Now, if you wanted to do a little formatting to make it look like uh, that, that would be fine. The beauty of this is that if you change any data, so if I change this to uh, 50, change that to 50, when I hit enter, that will change there too. Sometimes people want to flip ranges and they need to be dynamic, so that is a way to do it. We've seen in other videos how to do uh, a copy and paste special transpose, but that hard codes the number in. So the transpose function, and you can see it up here, the curly brackets got put in. By the way, you can click in any one of these cells and you see that B5 to C8. B5 to C8, so the array function ignores cell references. It just puts that into all of the cells. Uh, but if you want it dynamic, that's the way to go. Another thing about array, an array formula like this, if I try to delete this cell, it says you cannot change part of an array. And what happened was we put in all of those to get in, in, all, in that range all at once. So the only way you can delete it is to delete all of them. Also, if we try to insert a column, right click insert it says forget it pal you cannot change part of an array all right uh, let's look at our second example the frequency function what does frequency mean hey frequency means count count given some category frequency is an array function that must be entered using control shift enter just like transpose and all the cells must be highlighted before you create the formula oh that's just like transpose too the frequency function uses two arguments data array, these are the numbers to be counted, and bins, bins array. This is the upper limit of each class. This is different if you watch some of my statistics videos. A lot of times we don't, we have a, a group of numbers and we don't want to include the upper number. So there's other f formulas you could use count ifs with an s or two count ifs or a sum product or all sorts of things but if you have categories like this uh, gr less than or equal to 10 where 10 is included in this count and this next category this is greater than 10 and less than or equal to 20 so the upper number for our category is included in that category then you can use the frequency and it's a very straightforward function. I just have a little data set here. There's the numbers, and I want to group them. I want to count in these categories. You, and here's our bins. These are called the bins, the upper uh, number for each category. 
I'm going to highlight these three here and type equals frequency. It's just asking, hey, give me the data array. That's these numbers here. So for uh, this uh, category less than 10, we're, we're gonna, that'll be a count. I mean, that'll be one, that'll be one, that'll be one, and that'll be one. So there should be four in this uh, category right here. Those are the data arrays, comma, and the bins. Those are the upper limits. Close parentheses. Notice we highlighted all of the cells. When we control shift enter, it will ignore uh, cell references. It'll put D18 to D20 in all of them. Control shift and enter. And just like that, it counts. And again, if you try to delete this, forget it. If you try to insert a row, insert, forget it. You cannot change part of an array entered that way. So those are two examples of array functions. All right, uh, we'll see you next video.